Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to use the multiple CT in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that how we can use the multiple CT in SQL Server. So the CT which is also called as common table expression in SQL allow you to create the temporary result set that you can reference within your SQL query. So in this particular example we will see how we can use the two CT in a SQL query. Okay, so let's jump to the demo. So this is my SQL Server instance and I'm going to use the SQL database here uh, to create the table. So I written some query that I will use here to select the data from the table. So I can create a new instance of the window and then I can paste the query. So here I'm just creating a employees table. First I'm checking if the employees table exists then drop it and then recreate it and then insert 10 records into the employees table. Okay. And now let's see what kind of data this particular table contains. So I can select the data from this table. So this table contains 10 records, which are the like employee ID, employee name, department ID, and the salary of each person, like salary for you know different persons. So if you see here, uh, we have different department ID, like department ID 101, 101, 101. So there are three records for the department ID. Okay, and then we have some data for department ID 2 as well, 102, 102, 102, and then 4103. Okay, so what I want to do is that I want to find out the average salary for each department. Okay, and once the average salary will be calculated for all department, then I want to do an average of the all average salary. Okay, so that's what I want to do. So I will show you like how we can do that using the multiple city. Okay. So I will write the query in chunks and I will explain you once I will write the, you know, half of the query and then I will further explain you the rest 50% of the query. Okay. So first we want to find out the average salary for all department and then we will get the average salary of the all departments averages. Okay. So let me start writing the query with CTE. So you know we write like with CT if it's a single CT or so it's not necessary that you need to give the CT here so you can give any name here that you want to give to your temporary result set or the CTE so maybe I can call my CT this time as department average okay department average as okay and then I can close the parenthesis and now I can write my query here like select and I want to select the data from the employees table so I can write employees here okay so first I want to get the uh, average salary for all the departments so I can write like select department ID comma average and I need to write the column name here so the column name is salary okay and I will call this one as average salary per department okay and then we need to do the group by on the department ID so I can write like group by and uh, department ID okay so if I select the inner query so this will return the average salary for all the departments okay so now this is the half part of the query and I can also select the data from this particular CTE so this is the first CTE which will return the average salary for all the departments okay so for the department id 101 this is the average salary and this is the average salary for 102 and this is the average salary for 103 department id now i want to get the average salary out of these average salary you know for all the departments now i want to get the average salary okay so for that particular thing i need to write the second ct okay so how we can write the second ct if you see the this particular code so I started with the with keyword here like with and the city name but now if you want to use the second city then you need to put the comma here and now you don't need to write the with city instead you can just uh, write the name of your city and for example I can call it like overall average as and then you can write the two parentheses and then you can write the query inside the two parentheses okay so I can write like select and uh, I will select the data now from the first CTE okay so I can write like select from first CTE and I will actually uh, calculate the average salary so average okay and I will get the average salary from this particular column like average salary per department okay 
so I will get the average salary from this one and I will call this particular new column as overall average salary okay and from this table and now I can simply uh, select the data so how I can select the data select from my second uh, CTE which is this one overall average and uh, this is our, our column okay overall average salary so this is my column from here okay so this is the final query and I can execute this one so this is the average salary of all the departments average is average okay so uh, for example if, if you want to execute all the queries together here so this will fail this will say that incorrect syntax near you know this one department average so if you want to uh, you know execute the select query for the CTE with another query so you can put a semicolon before this one and then you can execute the query okay and if you th think that uh, suppose if you do the direct average salary from this particular uh, table then it should also return the same then this is not the case okay I can show you for example you know uh, writing this query like if you want to do the average directly so you won't be able to do, do that you know select average I mean you can do that but it the result will be different okay so for example if I do this and if I execute the query then this result is different okay because at the moment it is showing you the average salary for all employees okay but if you want to get the um, salary for different departments so you know in our example what we did first we calculated the average salary for each department okay because suppose uh, there can be multiple departments in a company okay and one department salary can be higher than the another department salary right so that's why we first calculated the average salary for each department and then we did the average of all the averages okay so yeah so this is the example of like how you can use the multiple city in SQL server so uh, this is one of the thing that you can you need to you know put a comma here and then you can also use the semicolon here okay yeah so I will share all the SQL queries that I used here like the um, create table statement insert query and all the select queries as well yeah so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much